Hello everyone, this is Dave Bondi giving you new information on the shooting in Highland Park, Illinois. What we're learning now, we're learning from investigators that this had been planned for several weeks. That's the evidence that they say they have against Robert Cremo, the suspect in this case. They are also saying, follow along right here, and I'm going to play a video in just a little bit from investigators, so stick with me. And also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any news as I give it. Um, they're saying that the suspect after the shooting or during the shooting was dressed in women's clothing to try to escape capture. And then they finally caught him as he was on his way to his mother's house. So I'm going to go ahead and play a soundbite really quick from the investigators to tell you, uh, show you exactly what happened. Listen to this. So throughout the past 24 hours, investigators have spoken with numerous witnesses, some of the survivors, uh, they've had the opportunity to review numerous video clips, uh, both from cell phone video recordings and fixed cameras in the area, and they've con uh, conducted a number of other follow-up investigations. And based on where we're at at this point in the investigation, and some of this is still preliminary, so is subject to change as we keep moving forward, but we do believe Cremo pre-planned this attack for several weeks. Uh, he brought a high-powered rifle to this parade, he accessed the roof of a business via a fire escape ladder and began opening fire on the innocent Independence Day celebration goers. The rifle was purchased in Illinois, and the information we have thus far is that it appears to have been purchased legally by Cremo. Uh, during the attack, Cremo was dressed in woman's clothing, and investigators do believe he did this to conceal his facial tattoos and his identity and help him during the escape uh, with the other people who were fleeing the chaos. During the attack, we believe that Cremo fired more than 70 rounds from this rifle into the crowd of innocent people. Following the attack, Cremo exited the roof, he dropped his rifle, and he blended in with the crowd, and he escaped. Uh, he walked to his mother's home, who lived in the area, and he blended right in with everybody else as they were running around almost as he was uh, an innocent spectator as well. So there you go. That is the new information we are getting from investigators. Robert Cremo, um, I'm not going to show his, his picture right here because we don't need to see him again. Um, but that's the information we're just getting on what happened yesterday and how he was able to escape. He was dressed as a woman. Six people have died. More than two dozen were hurt. I want you to go ahead and follow me, share this out, and subscribe to my channel to get the very latest updates.